and for this session we have a very interesting and highly knowledgeable personality with us dr garande sir sir will be talking about low cost processing technologies of fruits and vegetables uh, talking about sir's designation sir is currently working as a uh, professor of horticulture uh, at zonal agriculture research station kanishkind pune and sir's professional experience include he has worked for 6 uh, years as a jrf then for 10 years as an assistant professor of horticulture and from past 11 years sir is working as an associate professor of horticulture sir has completed his phd in horticulture from mpkv rauri university and sir has been awarded with many fellowships medal and awards during his student life and career as well uh, so far sir has guided seven msc students three phd students he is a member of a student advisor committee he has been worked as an external examiner for thesis evaluation of phd and msc horticulture students he has been actively involved in the curriculum development and other academic activities that includes development of a syllabus for ug and pg courses sir has six patents on his name uh, sir's research recommendation that passed in joint agres committee that includes standardization of recipe for preparation of rts beverage from mango anola pomegranate kagzi lime organic production of sweet orange and many other uh, so far sir has uh, published 60 research articles and uh, 78 technical articles that includes 24 international and 54 national level articles uh, sir has published 153 popular articles and 13 book chapters uh, one book has been published by sir and four marathi textbooks and practical manual has been published by him Uh, he has given so far 14 radio talks and 8 tv talks he has worked as a member secretary for the uh, preparation of 12 textbooks for the agricultural polytechnic uh, sir has been uh, delivering lectures in the farmer rallies he has given 43 lectures so far in the farmer rallies and 25 lectures in the caft trainings uh, sir is a member of editorial board of many research journals and reviewer of research journal also so we have a highly knowledgeable personality today with us and uh, welcome you sir thank you so much thank thank you karishma madam hello shall i share yes sir yes sir yes sir uh so slides are visible yes sir just click this slide mode sir yeah it is visible just click this slide mode sir. yes yes uh, dear friends first of all i am very much thankful for uh, vice, uh, our vice chancellor of your university the professor uh, then uh, diet rock uh, education then diet rock uh, technology department food science department uh, dr shabu sir irana sir and all members from the uh, food technology uh, department i am very thankful for giving an opportunity to discuss with the we regarding the low cost of processing technology of fruits and vegetables uh, dear dear friends we are everybody is knowing that the fruits and vegetables are the important part of our diet and they are called as nutritional foods even you can uh, you can see from this table carrot tomato sweet potato they are rich in beta carotene and they are used as a uh, healthy anti cancer properties even grape and jamun they are rich in flavonoids and they they are used for the heart curing of heart disease and diabetes even core crops they contains the endols different cancers they are uh, curing for the cancers sir, strawberries sir. and bitter gourds and so many fruits and vegetables they are rich in many uh, nutritional please composition as well uh, sir Hello? please click the slide mode sir please click the slide uh, yeah okay uh, thank you yeah uh, that's why they are called as nutritional food they supply the nutrition as well as uh, Uh, medicinal properties are there even they are called as a natural antioxidants they are rich in vitamin c even they have the anti aging properties they uh, they prevent the formation of the um, dead cells on our face or loss of the face can be improved by many fruits and vegetables even they are a rich source of many dietary fibers even when we are talking about the india's production of fruits and vegetables india produces about 14 million metric tons of fruits and vegetables and we are the second largest producer of in the fruits and vegetables in the world india produces about 12% of fruits and 14% of vegetables 
and the horticulture uh, crops occupy about 9% of total property area with 30% contribution in agriculture GDP, which is the strength of horticulture crops. Maharashtra is known as the food basket of India because so the uh, Maharashtra government has um, uh, successfully implemented the employment guarantee scheme to scheme with the development, uh, with horticulture development program, then uh, national horticulture mission. There so many subsidies and schemes have been initiated, and that's why area under food crop has been increased from the uh, two lakh hectares in 1990. But uh, in 1820, uh, 2018, or means last two years, the area is increased up to 18.32 lakh hectares. This is the tremendous increase in the area in, area in production of fruits and vegetables. That's why Maharashtra is known as a food basket of India. You know, it is called as a horticulture state of India. The when we are talking about the India's status in the world market, we are standing first in mango. Papaya, banana, and citrus crops. We are standing first. In case of Baha, we are standing fourth. In pineapple, we are standing sixth. And in case of grapes, we are standing eleventh. In all total, we are standing second in the world. Production of fruits. Even in case of vegetables also, uh, okra stand. We are standing first in okra production. Even we are standing second in the cauliflower and onion. Even pot and potato, ginger, mel melons, and cabbage. So many vegetables we are standing in. Share of Maharashtra in total India's production. We are standing first in case of grapes and pomegranates. We are standing Maharashtra stand first. In case of mandarin, banana, and sweet orange, we are standing third. Maharashtra means Maharashtra stood third, third in position. In Gawa, Maharashtra stands fourth. In Sapota and Tamarind, we are standing in Maharashtra stood fifth. And the total production of fruits, uh, vegetables is, uh, fruits is 100.68 lakh metric tons of fruits are produced, even in case of vegetables. And the total area under vegetable production in Maharashtra is 5 lakh, more than 5 lakh hectares. And the production is 29.50 lakh metric tons is the production of vegetables of Maharashtra. This is the export scenario of fruits and vegetables from India. And total horticulture uh, produce exported to, to the tune of 1436.48 crores. We are getting through the export of horticulture crops. Even the, we are saying that we are standing second in the production of fruits and vegetables, but it is very disheartening to state that the post harvest losses of fruits and vegetables are more. Uh, 25 to 30 percent fruits and vegetables are lost due to the post improper post service handling practices. You take an example of apples where the post service losses is about 14 percent in case of banana, 20 to 80 percent in case of grapes, 37 percent in case of papaya, 40 to 100 percent losses are there. That's why. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Are you getting? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, we are getting your voice. Only yes. just mute your uh, this, uh, computer mm -hmm. voice. I think there are two echo is somewhat. Oh, that's 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 that. Are you getting? Yes, yes. Hello. Yes, yes. Yeah. Huh. We are getting. Huh? Hello. Uh, sir, uh, laptop to our shunne karun taka tumcha. Karun tumcha. Laptop to our laptop na equate taka dachi. Double ya kali tega. Ha. Jamo tumcha laptop to our band kar. Ani mobile chalo ra.
सर तुम्ही शेअर करताय तुम्हाला नेक्स्ट करावं लागेल सर हे झालं ना शेअर तुम्हीच करताय तुमचीच आहे स्लाइड ते माझी स्लाइड दिसते का हो दिसते की सर हो सर फक्त स्लाइड मोड ला क्लिक करा हा आता दिसते नेक्स्ट स्लाइड हो हो दिसते हा इन केस ऑफ ओनियन ते लॉसेस आर अबाउट 16 परसेंट थर्टी फाइव परसेंट इन केस ऑफ पोटेटो फाइव टू फोर्टी परसेंट टोमॅटो फिफ्टी परसेंट लॉस आर देअर इन केस ऑफ स्वीट पोटेटो अबाउट फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट लॉस आर देअर and the losses are mainly due to the improper handling of the fruits where we can handle the fruits you can see observe these pictures where the fruits and vegetables are handled and it is very uh, disheartening to state that these the, these are the conditions where the fruits and vegetables we are handling even we can cannot sit there we cannot stand for more than 10 15 minutes or half an hour but those commodities which required actually required the air condition but uh, we are uh, the fruits and vegetables they require but uh, we are these conditions we are not following in our in india but the here in developed country these are the conditions where we can handle the fruits you can see here in last slide even the due to the improper handling of the fruits and vegetables the losses are more you can see there how the fruits and vegetables are handled then loading and uploading there so many lot of losses are there because of the loading and uploading operations followed in the fruits even you can traditional wholesale market when the fruits uh, people are sitting on the fruits and how the fruits are very roughly handling or will just a uh, uh, rough handling is that that's why the losses are there and the losses are when we measure the losses in terms of money we are losing our 55 to 60000 crores of rupees and our efforts are needed only save 10% but not 100% we can sell save it even in developed countries the losses are about 5 to 10% losses are there that's why we have to think about then that's why government has given the top priority at the national level this sector because of this government of has created separate ministry ministry of food processing industry in the year 1990 and the fruits fruit and major processing industry that is the fruit and food industry is known as a sun rising industry in, uh, in india and as per the license given by the fas said uh 12620 processing units are running presently and the maximum units are in maharashtra and all the units are comes under the small scale category and the units are using their only 50% capacity they are using and 50% that's why they are not pro profitable the level of processing of fruits and vegetables in developed countries you can see the here in us 65% commodities or fruits and vegetables are used for the processing in france and brazil 70% are there in malaysia 83% fruits and vegetables are used for the processing in pineapple uh, philippines 78% in thailand 30% in india only 2.1% fruits and vegetables are used, or used for the processing but in you, you can take an example of israel israel is a very small country but they are using more than 50% fruits and vegetables are used for the processing that's why there is scope for the processing and vegetables increase the uh, processing units but for the processing units or preservation of uh, any commodities there some principles are used and uh, for that the definition of the preservation is the it is a science which deals with the process for the prevention of decay or spoilage of the food it is called as a preservation even in another word is just controlling the physical chemical and microbiological changes in the food that is called as a preservation and the some principles are basic principles used in the spoilage of the food or the preservation the uh, following changes may take place during the um, uh, processing or during the storage of the commodities or the storage of the uh, processed products physical changes chemical changes and microbiological changes the physical changes in that changes color flavor texture in the um, products may get changed in chemical changes change in the fat a uh, protein the fruits and vegetables they are they are not rich in fats but proteins vitamins and minerals they are goes on decreasing the change may be changes are there in microbial changes mold yeast and bacteria they can change or they can uh, spoil or spoil over the product in the basic principles used in the preservation of fruits and vegetables are the prevention or delay the microbial decomposition of the food delay the shelf life deco oh. shelf life uh, decomposition of the food and prevention of the damage by the insect animals and mechanical causes are there because these are the basic principles involved in involved in all processing of fruits and vegetables that's why fruits and vegetables are the what is the importance of fruits and vegetables in india uh, first is they to reduce the wastage and losses when we when uh, losses are already we are seeing the 30 to 45% losses are there 
40% loss are there and the losses we can reduce by use of the proper post service handling practices. Even the whatever glut is there, we can use the glut for the uh, processing. That's why they, they, this is a important. Then secondly, handle the glut, glut in the glut of produce in the market. When there is a glut or when the commodity is abundantly rich in market or the farmers sell their produce at the time when the glut is there, the prices are goes down. And under such circumstances, farmers has sell his produce at a thrown away prices. That's why farmers will not get this better prices for his commodity. And he has to sell the produce at a thrown away prices. That's why in, the, in that condition, processing plays an important role. To stabilize the farm prices of the fresh produce, it means uh, when the glut in the market, uh, at that time we can divert the commodities or divert the produce to the processing and we can add the value or we can get the we can stabilize the market prices in the price of the commodity in the market you want to utilize the marketable silver surplus even such units can be um, uh, established in the in the areas where the fruits and vegetables are the uh, produced in that area we can generate a employment in that area you can add a variety to the diet many fruits and prepared and that that can be utilized for the uh, used in the used in our diet to ensure the nutritional security uh, as per the RDA we recommended dietary allowance given by the uh, standardized by the Indian Council of Medical Research they say that the 120 to 150 gram of vegetables and 280 to 300 gram of vegetables to, to be taken or to be eaten by the every Indian but uh, through the processing, we can secure or we can get the, we can supply the nutrients to the many peoples or to the uh, diet. That's why it is plays important role in the nutrition security. To earn the foreign exchange, due to the uh, these processed products, uh, more than 2,500 uh, lakhs of rupees we will get through the processing of the many uh, horticulture commodities, even processed products we can export. And you are getting the more foreign exchange through the export of uh, processed products. Uh, there, there is a great scope for the processing in India. India itself is a big market. 1.10 million consumers and likely to be increased in coming years. That's why Indian peoples prefer our product. That's why India itself is a big market. That's why there is a good scope for the processing. Markets of international report are available in India, Mumbai, Delhi, Kal Chennai, Calcutta, Pune. These are the metro cities and that metro cities uh, there is a huge demand for the processed products. That's why there is a great potential. The good roads and transport facilities are available. Then quadriline roads are there because of this quick transport facilities are there. We can send our commodity in the any any corner of the India very quickly. Different types of containers are there. With these different types of containers are available in the glass containers, tin, tetra pack, retractable pouches. These are the different types of containers available. That's why there is a scope. Even the publicity media are there, TV, newspapers, posters, uh, even charts are there, social media, tutors, WhatsApp, so many medias are there. Through that media, we can make the publicity of our product and we can increase our the scope for the processing. Then India, all government has established our 60 agriculture zones and 58 food parts are there. And that's why there is a great scope for the processing. Mm -hmm. Development of eco-friendly packaging materials available, biodegradable packaging materials available. And that packaging material can be used for the processing of many uh, fruits and vegetables. So we can pack the fruits and we can sell the produce in the market. Uh, some institutes are there imparting the training to the youth for the uh, uh, fruits and vegetables. The process products are good, good demand in the international market already I told and a very low processing as compared to the developer countries. Developer countries more than 70 to 80 percent fruits and vegetables are used for the processing but in India we are using only 2.1 percent fruits and vegetables are used for the processing. That's why there is a great scope for the processing. We have seen the scope for the processing. What are the major concerns in the processing industry in India? Non-availability of modern processing technology. This is not available to the each and every people of the India. That's why there is a. Uh, this is the major concern. Non uh, high cost of the machineries are there. That's why any small uh, processor cannot afford these machineries. Lack of information about the advanced processing technologies. Lack of sufficient capital is also a major concern in the processing industry. Non availability of variety suitable for the processing. Even a lot of work has been done regarding the production technology, but no, no work has been done related to the availability of the variety suitable for the processing. You take an example of tomato. Which variety of tomato is suitable for the processing? Those varieties which are 
which are which are marketable uh, or fresh marketing but that cannot be suitable for the processing the criteria for the variety is different for the fresh market and for the processing is different that's why the work should be done on the processing of suitability of variety non availability of raw produce in the vicinity of the processing unit in the major processing majority of the processing units are uh, are set up at the away from the fields or the, the, the lot of distance is there and very difficult to tra transport and they add the transport cost to the commodities then lack of the recognition appreciation in the family difficulty in getting the money from the buyers from the sale of the produce that's why this is also a major bottleneck in the processing industry we are not getting we are mostly we are giving on the uh, money uh, is not getting through the after a uh, sale of the produce the lack of the suitable infrastructure lack of adequate quality control you know, insufficient chain and the involvement middleman lack of suitable varieties uh, seasonality of the raw material most of are running in only in seasonal basis that's why seasonal availability of the throughout the year the raw material is not available that's why our unit should be run throughout the year that's why you, we should think about the and your unit should be the multi commodity processing unit should be there it means one commodity is finished we can use search for the another commodity and the cultural preference in india cultural preference is given for the fresh food foods particularly but that's why they do have to make the aware about the uh, regarding the processing of fruits and vegetables to the peoples even the, these are the some products prepared from the fruits and vegetables if these are the some examples of mango we can prepare the pulp rts nectar pona pickle leather leather jam preserve so many products we can prepare from the mango even guava onla pomegranate pineapple papaya grapes corunda banana fig so many processed products we can prepare from the fruits and vegetables even the vegetables there is a lot of scope for the processing of tomato so many products we can prepare from the tomato juice puree paste ketchup sauce powder even pickle can prepare from the tomato uh, whatever there is a limited scope for the potato for the chips and the papad or in flour can prepare even garlic onion and garlic flakes we can prepare powder or even we can prepare the paste from the onion and garlic sweet potato green peas chili pumpkin ginger turmeric green leafy vegetables bottle water okra so these vegetables are dried and used for the further use when they are not in available in the off season during the off season we can use that products what are the major strengths strength of processing industry in india abundant availability of raw material already we have seen that the india is the major producer of fruits and vegetables in india in uh, in india uh, in the world that's why there is a lot of raw material available the priority sector given for, uh, status for the agro processing industry or agro processing by the government of india given the lot of uh, top priority for this uh, sector the vast network for the network for the manufacturing facilities all over the country then what the domestic markets india itself is a big market that's why there is a major strains are then that can be utilized for the expanding the processing industry in india the weakness are there some weaknesses are low availability of adequate infrastructure facilities lack of adequate quality control and and the, um, as per the international standards insufficient supply of chain due to the large number of intermediaries high requirement of working capital inadequate development linkage between the such organized industry seasonality of raw material these are the weaknesses of the processing industry in india so what are the opportunities all it that means a scope of there already we have seen the opportunities in india hello right yes sir yes hello yes sir ah, yes. Your order. and the threat, major threats are the affordability and the culture preference for the fresh fruits that's why there is a, this is the major threat high inventory carrying cost and the high taxation and the high packaging cost are there these are the major threats in the processing industry in india and one by one we can see the view some major uh, fruits and major vegetables we can prepare which products can prepare from that feature we can see all that can be processed into different products such as juice squash jam candy supari preserve chavan prash rts syrup pickle and powder these are the products prepared from the all now even major products these are the uh, product prepared from the um all now all candy is their whole fruits these are this is the process for the preparation of on like whole fruit on like candy selection of the fruit washing of the fruit pricking you have to prick the fruits blanching for 8 to 10 minutes syruping for 50 day 50 degree bricks for 24 hours syruping at 60 degree bricks for 24 hours syruping is 7 means this is a somewhat lengthy process there 
and you can see in pictorial some pictures are then you can you can see in the photographs this is the selection of the fruits means fruit should be properly ripen or properly matured fruits are selected proper selection of the fruit is important healthy fruit should be selected this is the selection of the fruit then after selection of the fruit you have to prick the fruits pricking of the fruits or sometimes we can uh, not necessary to uh, whole fruits pricking is necessary but for the when we make the stress not pricking is required or uh, pests are there not is required after selection of the food, wash the fruits under running water. After washing, we have to blanch the fruits for 8 to 10 minutes in the boiling water for the easy removal of the pieces and inactivate the enzymes. Major, and we have to, with the help of hand, we have to remove the pieces and these are inable portion, these are the seeds. We have to remove it. But uh, uh, after removal of the shreds, we have to put the syrup, 50% 50, 50 syrup for and 50% syrup can prepare by dissolving the sugar or 1 kg sugar, 1 kg water. We can we can make the 50% syrup. And it is kept for 24 hours. After second day, we have to remove the uh, pieces and or increase the concentration of sugar up to 60%. And reaches the bricks reaches up to uh, more than 68% or 60 degree bricks. Uh, then remove the pieces from the water, remove the pieces from the uh, syrup and just wash the syrup thorough wash the pieces thoroughly under the water and then oh, spread on the under the fan and this is the uh, process for the drying process for the candy and it should be dried under the fan or under the shed when it is dried under the um, sunlight or in the uh, it, it adversely affects the quality of the product or even adversely affect the color of the product, it loses the heat, becomes a brown in color. It will, be, it will, will not get the better price in the market. That's why it should be dry under the only shade drying is there. This is the only whole fruit on candy is there, and the shifted with the holes or making picking the fruits. They on this is the mechanical pricker is there, and we can prepare the on last threads, and these are the candied or on last threads. And this is this candy has good demand in the market. Even whatever syrup is left after the preparation of candy, that syrup can be used as is, uh, RTS, or you can just add the water in one as to five percent, uh, one as to five proportion, one one glass of the syrup and four glass of the water, and just chill it. And uh, for the taste, you can add the salt, or you can add the ginger juice and the lime juice. You can uh, improve the taste by adding the syrup. Even on a processing, this is online like candy processing unit, commercial candy processing unit is there. Even this is the um, economics of online like candy. And we have worked out the economics uh, at Kolhapur condition. It is a cost of candy is about 195 rupees, but it is um, uh, the rate of candy is not, not less than 300 rupees per kg in the local market. This is the economics of online like candy. Even the some uh, some the beverages also prepared or what you call it as a different types of beverages in the as per the FSI uh, about six types of beverages are there first that is the juice RTS nectar cordial squash crush and syrup these are the different types of beverages but in case in case of squash crush and syrup it is diluted even in case of nectar no dilution is required or even in case of RTS dilution is not required but as per the specification of FSI you have to maintain these ingredients properly and then and then product called as a juice or RTS. Even in case of syrup, it is diluted one as to five percent, and its THC is more than sixty-five percent, and its pulp container juice content is more than twenty-five percent. Is there? And juice we can prepare. In case of online juice, you have to use the preparation for, for the juice. You have to use the uh, one kg water, one kg shreds, and you have to just grind it in the mixer. And after grinding, you have to press with the mushroom cloth. Then pasteurize the juice at 72. Uh, you have to make the, these ingredients are used for the preparation of the juice. Even you can use for the RTS. You can prepare the RTS also by using the 20% juice. And these are the ingredients for that addition of sugar 13%, uh, the remaining 2% uh, uh, lime juice, 2%, 1% uh, uh, ginger juice, and 13% uh, sugar already told. And remaining for point three, I say uh, not not should add the acidity. Already it is acidic in nature. That's and this is the preparation of the RTS. Preparation of the juice and then you have to almost procedure is the same. 
these are the products prepared by our university mango rts onla then coronda pineapple jackfruit kokum these are the some varieties of beverages prepared from the different fruits and our university has standardized the procedure for the preparation of these drinks and the the drinks are uh, traded under the fully cold drinks under all these drinks are sold even this is the online juice we have all these products we have prepared in our laboratory and the juice is there and this juice is used for the making the rts you can even we can make a powder also on the powder of the whatever pro, those fruits which are not fit for the making the candy that fruits can be used for for the drying and the powder can be prepared by using this uh, these those fruits those threads which are not marketable or which are not used for the candy this is the on the powder we prepared and for the one kg uh, for the preparation of uh, on the powder you have to uh, from one kg of the fruit you will get about to uh, 100 uh, 10 to 150 gram of powder you will get from one kg of the on fruit after drying and drying is about to, uh, it is dried up to moisture content in the dried powder is about to, uh, four to five four percent and even we can make a good quality jelly from the uh, on juice also but is different procedures you have to follow the different process for that even on pickle we can good quality pickle can prepare for the on then uh, this the this is the on pickle we have prepared these are the ingredients used for the preparation of the pickle uh, 150 gram of salt 15 gram red chili powder 10 gram turmeric powder 10 gram cumin seed 10 gram uh, black uh, black pepper and 30 and 300 ml boiled cooled uh, boiled and cooled oil is used for that uh, for preparation of the on uh, pickle even online super we can uh, good quality for other product we can prepare from the online that is online super and it is can it can prepare at a home scale the ingredients used are the online pieces one kg salt uh, white salt called as a 35 to 40 gram salt is used then salt b that is a black salt is a 10 to 15 gram jira powder 5 to 10 gram lime juice 15 to 20 ml and ginger juice 10 to 50 ml juice is used for that you can make a good quality super from the online these are the ingredients used for that you just uh, mix the piece make the pieces of these uh, pieces and in small pieces and just uh, these ingredients are mixed thoroughly and just dry under the sun or dry under the oven and you will get the this product this is online super it is sold at the, it is sold in the market about uh, not less than 600 600 to 700 rupees per kg of the online super even another fruit is the important fruit is the mango mango is the mango is known as a king of fruits and most of the products are these are the products prepared from the on uh, from the mango the mango is the king of fruit that's why so many products we can prepare from the mango you can just uh, you can read out the products mango pulp mango juice mango jam mango squash mango nectar can mango then mango toffee mango leather arm papad mango rts mango juice powder mango freeze dried mango then mango syrup, mango wine, mango preserve. So many products we can prepare from the mango. And the un, these are the products prepared from the uh, ripe mango bar, the, the pickle, sweet chutney, the amchur, preserver, raw mango pulp, and the mango pono. This raw mango pulp can be utilized for making the pono. And these are the products prepared from the unripe mango fruits. And these are the some pro, the products, all the mangoes, uh, ripe raw mango scratch is also prepared from this uh, raw mango pulp. And this is the recipe for the preparation of raw mango squash, grey mango pulp, one kg, common salt, one. I mean, these are the some ingredients used for the making the raw mango squash. And what do you call that mango pono? So mango chutney is also prepared. These are the ingredients for making the mango chutney. Then sweet uh, mango chutney. This, 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 this is the proceed for that. Then mango pulp. We can base after uh, ripe fruits are used for making the mango pulp. And this is the, these are the some, how we can prepare, these are the some steps, you can see the pictures, the fully ripe mango fruits are used for the, that purpose, and variety is used the kesha. And the, these are the, I am talking about the home scale processing, not for the large scale or processing. The removal of the stock with the help of hand, with a sharp knife, then these uh, stones are removed, the mango stones are removed with the help of hand, these are the Skills are separated. Okay. Hello. Then this, after removal of this um, stone and pulp is 
uh, put in the pulper and that pulper is this this pulper is make the stone separate and uh, homogenized pulp separate you are getting you can observe here the mango stones are here and the homogenized pulp is you are getting in the another another vessel and after getting this mango pulp you have to just dry you just heat it up to 80 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes and this is about the uh, content the capacity of the vessel is about 25 kg and you have to at least two percent two people are required to for instance stirring is required for that and as is almost all equipments we are using for the stainless steel and stainless steel is getting easily charged with the that's why constant stirring is required and after attaining the proper temperature means at the ceiling temperature is not less than 74 degrees celsius that is called the ceiling temperature uh, the filling temperature and ceiling temperature should not should not fall to 74 74 and 74 and 76 means not less than 70 de 70 degree bricks 70 degree te Celsius temperature should not fall at the time of uh, sealing the bottles after sealing the bottles you have to just put the bottles like like this you how the bottles are kept this and the bottles after uh, these bottles are again pressurized for uh, 70 degree Celsius for uh, 10 to 15 minutes and these bottles after removal of the, after attaining the proper that uh, temperature and the time remove the bottles and cool the bottles at room temperature and keep the bottles like then we the, we can keep the bottles at least one year at the ambient temperature or at a room temperature not necessarily at the preservative and roll of preservative is coming at the after opening of the bottles a roll of preservative is there it prevents the spoilage when we keep the bottles or all the bottles are not used at a time it is used for at least three to four um, about 10 to 15 days and uh, at that time roll up preservation is there uh, sodium benzoate we are using at 600, 600 uh, ppm sodium benzoate is used for that means 600 means six and uh, six gram per 10 kg of the pulp we are using the sodium benzoate for the preservation of the mango pulp after filling the bottles we have to just keep the bottles in the at ambient temperature we can store at uh, at least one year we can store and this this is the mango commercial mango processing in it and these are the mango uh, these are the products we have prepared then mango jam can prepare us from the ripe mango pulp even this is amchur even mango leather prepared even other product other fruit is the jamun jamun is also has got the good potential for the diabetes that's why it is unripe food service for making the vinegar even ripe foods are used for making the juice, RTS, square, syrup, jelly, wine, burfi, toffee, ice cream. So many products we can prepare from the jamun also. And this is extraction procedure for the jamun juice. Uh, selection of the food, washing under running water, pulping in pulper, pressurization. These are the some steps are there. How the steps are followed in the preparation of these are the whatever pulp pulper we are using for the mango pulp extraction of the mango pulp. That pulper is used for the even for the jamun. Jamun, just after washing the fruits, you have to put the fruits in the pulper. It will separate, the seed will get separate and homogenized pulp will get separate. After separation of these fruits, you will get the, you have to put, you have to pasteurize the uh, pulp for 60 to 70 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. After, after cooling, you have to put the pulp in this, uh, juice in this hydraulic place and you will get separate. Just press it and you will get this separate juice. You, uh, pomace will get separate and juice will get separate and this juice is pasteurized again pasteurized at 70 to 80 degrees Celsius for 10 to 15 minutes and the same hot filling process followed for the mango same process is used for the uh, jamun also and these are the uh, products of uh, this is these are the products prepared for prepared for my MSC work at the poly ja, jamun jam squash artis and syrup can prepare from the jamun and the whatever jamun wine, the good quality wine can be also prepared from the jamun. Even jamun juice, jamun syrup, these are the products we have prepared. And jamun is whatever seed left, that seed is dried under the, dried under the even the dryer or even you can dry under the sun drying. After drying, you have to make it powder and eat. this powder is used for the making the curing the diabetes. The carbonated RTS, uh, the, we can prepare a Carbonated RTS, good quality carbonated RTS from the jamun also, jamun juice. And same procedure, almost procedure is the same, whatever RTS means. For the RTS, uh, ingredients required for that is about 10% juice, uh, 13 to 14% THS, 0.3% acidity and remaining quantity is the water. And same procedure is followed for that. For the preparation of this RTS, you have to prepare the syrup for basic for you have to prepare the syrup and syrup having the bricks about 50 to 52 degrees Celsius. 
and the one uh, the one percent acid is maintained and this syrup after preparation of this syrup you have to take the 40 ml of this and add the remaining quantity along with, uh, remaining quantity of the water through the carbonation unit and you will get the carbonated things and the CO2 is added at the rate of uh, 70 psi and this after sealing of the bottles you have to pressurize it and we can these bottles can be stored at the uh, fridge or at the cold storage one month we can store these bottles when this is a carbonated rts even the coronda also in another fruit it is it it has having the uh, the good source of fe content is the that's why it is a important and it is available only in the season in the summer season and we have to prepare these unripe fruits are used for making the chutney pickle jam jelly rts and squash can prepare but in case of uh, ripe fruits can be used for making the rts squash jam and syrup these are the some products we have prepared these are the unripe fruit products and these are the uh, corona juice and this corona juice is used for making the rts or making the another products doing rts syrup and these are the retrievable pouches and uh, this uh, corona rts is, is very rich in anthocyanin content that's why it has a good um, property medicinal properties even another food is the papaya papaya is processed into jam tutti frutti jelly candy candied products or pickles can prepare from the pop, uh, papaya uh, for making the jam jam is a product prepared by boiling the fruit pulp with a sufficient quantity of sugar to a desirable consistency and firm enough to hold the fruit tissues in position as per the specification of fsi the jam should contain 68.5 percent ths 45 percent uh, acid uh, pulp and the 0.5 to 0.6 percent acidity it should be uh, most of the major fruits are should have those fruits which containing the pulp that fruits are used for the making this jam these are the steps followed in the papaya jam you can see here with the these are the some photographs of the preparation of the papaya jam selection of the fruit you have to just uh, ripe fruits and some un uh, just to start ripe fruits are selected the, uh, some uh, under ripe fruits are used they are rich in pectin and ripe fruits are the, they have in the strong flavor that's why you have to combine fruits are used for that making the uh, jam removal of the skin and seed cutting of the fruits into small pieces homogenize the juice with the help of the mixer and this is the homogenized pulp in that you have to it is passed through the one mm sieve you will get the homo 100 percent homogenized juice you have to add the sugar in one is to uh, those sugars which are uh, re, uh, which are which having the ths uh, um, sweet fruits are there in that fruits you have to add the sugar in 700 to say 800 gram per kg of the pulp those fruits which are sour in taste that fruits you have to add the sugar in the ratio of one is to one or one is to 1.5 one is to 25 uh, after addition of sugar, you have to dissolve the sugar and start the heating and heating should be there. It, it, it is a quick heating, it should be there and slow heating should not be followed. It, uh, uh, it can cause the caramelization of the sugar and it can affect the setting of the jam. After setting of the, how we can judge the setting of the jam or the end point of the jam can be judged by the different methods. This is the uh, drop test, what we call as a uh, after uh, judging the end point, you have to fill the, uh, in the uh, jam in the pre-sterilized glass bottles and the distance should not be more than 2.5 cm or the, it will, sometimes you will get air will get incorporated and that will affect the, the spoil the product. That's why you should, you, you should follow the uh, pressure, proper pressure for making the jam and this jam can be sold toward up to uh, 6 months. This is, we can prepare tutti frutti. These are the ingredients for making the tutti frutti. And this is the flow sheet for the preparation of tutti frutti. And this is the, these are the products prepared from the papaya, raw papaya. Even another important fruit is the pomegranate. And the pomegranate is also processed under different products are there. Minimal process, juice, RTS, wine, carbonate RTS, anardana, anarava, and jelly. These are the products prepared from the pomegranate. When the min <coughs> processed product, frozen arils, juice, carbonate, bureaus are there. And these are the, this is the flow sheet for the preparation of pomegranate, uh, arils. And it, the pomegranate is a, uh, very difficult to eat the fruits and without uh, breaking the fruits we cannot eat it just like a mango we cannot eat just like mango or just like um, apples or even banana banana just to peel it down we can eat it but in case of common it is very difficult that's why we have to there is scope for the processing of minimal process are else. and this is these are the steps followed in the preparation of the minimally process pomegranate arils these are the minimally process pomegranate arils are there 
even another thing is also prepared from the pomegranate reels those those uh, varieties which are sour in taste that varieties are used for the uh, preparation of anardana but we try anardana preparation from the uh, table purpose varieties and this anardana is used for use as a replacing the, the amchur or even as a replacing the uh, tamarind for the uh, used as acidulant for for imparting the taste to improve the taste of the uh, culinary preparations that's why it can be in, in place of tamarind or in case of amchur we can use the anardana we can prepare anardana, anardana from our table purpose variety these are the steps followed in the preparation of anardana 5% citric acid is um, uh, added and just after partial drying you have to add it and just dry at 55 degrees Celsius for uh, 18 to 20 hours just to pack in polythene bags and labeling and store these are the you should store at ambient temperature these are the steps you just uh, 5 percent citric acid you have to take it and you just uh, after drying you have to just uh, smear it and you have to dry under the shade or under the uh, uh, dryer these are the products we have prepared for the our school students even this is the permanent processing is there even permanent juice is also prepared and it, it can be used as a as such without without dilution or without making the addition of anything you have to uh, you can use juice as such this is these are the products who, our, our university has prepared the rts from the uh, from jamun pomegranate tamarind and all the what you call it, they are released under the uh fully cold drinks this is the preparation of carbon dioxide from the pomegranate. These are the steps followed in the preparation of pomegranate. Same steps, whatever steps we followed in the jamun, same are used for that. Even the jamun, uh, pomegranate uh, syrup is also used. For the syrup, you have to one kg of this juice, you have to add the one kg of uh, one uh, 65 percent uh, TSS, acidity 1.5 to 2 percent, and 600 uh, gram, uh, 600 ppm sodium is added for the uh, preparation of the pomegranate syrup. When the pomegranate wine is also prepared, good quality wine is prepared, and from one kg of the fruit, we can get the 400 ml of the wine is prepared. And, and these are the steps followed in the preparation of pomegranate wine. The pomegranate spread is also there. Means, what you call it is pomegranate jelly. And these are the some steps. Uh, these are the some research work done on the pomegranate. The uh, frozen are is anar uh, uh, spread or jelly or anar dana. Even pomegranate juice is also prepared. Even the some beverages are there, even carbon dioxide is also prepared from the um, pomegranate and we so has published this work in various journals. Another food is the jackfruit, jackfruit choda, leather, RTS, nectar, jam, jelly, even so many products we can prepare from the jackfruit. Means the minimally jackfruit is there, these are the you know, same, it is, it is also very difficult to eat the jackfruit. Without, without cutting we cannot eat it. That's why there is scope for the minimal processing of jackfruit. Even jackfruit product, these are the products we have prepared. Even cashew apple, cashew syrup, cashew candy, or cashew jam is also whatever nuts are uh, used after removal of the nuts. So apples are mostly thrown away, and that apples can be used for making these products. What do you call it as a waste? That waste is used for making the products after removal of the nuts in case of cashew. Another food is the wood apple. Wood apple also import jelly, chutney, RTS syrup, carbon dioxide. So yes, wood apple is what you call as a covered curd is rich in pectin. That's why it is good quality jelly can prepare from this um, wood apple. This is the as per the specification of the FSI, jelly should contain 60, more than 65 percent, uh, 65 percent TSS, 40 percent, 35 percent extract, and 0. 0.50 to 0.75 percent acidity. Is that these are the products specifications of the jelly even the qualities of the jelly what is called as a good quality what are the qualities of the good jelly jelly should be transparent it should be well said but not steep too steep it should have original flavor of the fruit it should have attractive color and keep its shape after removal of the mold it should be firm enough to retain the sharp edges jelly should be free from the dullness or what you call it no uh, it should not be in synergies of jelly or jelly should not be gummy sticky or syrupy and a jelly should not have been neither, neither tough or not rubbery. These are the good qualities of the jelly. Then, uh, for steps followed in the preparation of the jelly, the removal of the, just selection of the food, washing, breaking of the foods, removal of the pulp, addition of water in one H2 proportion, boiling of the steel becomes soft, means about half an hour of boiling the at medium flame, then cooling and filtration, then keeping in vessel for overnight, decantation, testing. Of, these are the some steps followed in the preparation of the jelly. 
Jama and Jiri products are almost steps are steps are same, only few steps are different. Means the preparation of the fruits are different. Even in case of jam, we are using the ripe fruits. In case of jelly, we are using the unripe or just uh, start ripe fruits. Are means they are rich in pectin. These fruits are the when jelly is a transparent, jam is a not transparent. And in case of jelly, we are using the extract. In case of jam, we are using the pulp. These are the some uh, difference different uh, between the jam and jelly. This is selection of the fruit. After selection of the fruit, you just remove the pulp with the help of the spoon. After removal, you just add the water and just heat and heat it. Uh, adding the water after addition of one is one is one is to two proportion of water in the added and heat it. After removal, just uh, squeezing through the mushroom cloth and you just pass through the mushroom cloth. You will get the squeezed juice and that juice is kept for the overnight. And uh, after decantation, you will get you have to taste it for the pectin content. And these are how we can taste the pectin. And small instrument is used that is called as what you call as a gel meter. And these are the some. These are the some uh, steps. Are, these are the some markings are there you know, on the gel meter. And how it is hold? It is hold like this. You just uh, second thing you have to fill with the help of this one. After removal of this, and it is allowed to run for one minute. And after one minute, where, where you are getting the level? And in that level, that level indicates the amount of sugar to be added. When level is uh, nearer to the this uh, this marking, you have to add the sugar in one as to one point twenty five. Means to seven kilo sugar. Means even this. It is here uh, nearer to that level. You can add the sugar. Means this indicates the amount of sugar to be added. And accordingly, you have to make the jelly. And even another method is alcohol test is also followed. Followed. In case of you have to take the one kg, one one spoon of the extract and one uh, one spoon of the rectified spirits. And when it forms a big clot, it is a rich in pectin. You have to add the sugar in one as to uh, one proportion. When it is it is medium in pectin, you have to add the sugar in one as to uh, three fourth. And if when there is a it is a milky milky liquid is there means it is a not rich in or it is a very poor in jelly poor in pectin contain you have to add the sugar you have to add the uh, external you have to add the pectin and these are the some steps how we can get the uh, one uh, seven hundred fifty gram sugar in one lump high pectin contain this indicates the when five hundred gram sugar. When uh, is a medium and in milk case uh, low low pectin contain it means amount of sugar to be added. After addition of sugar, you have to just heat it. In case of jelly uh, for wood apple jelly, we are adding the sugar in one as one proportion. And these are the points to be how we can judge the end point of the jelly by using the refractometer. We can judge the end points. This is the hand refractometer. This is the digital hand refractometer. And the taste should be. More than 60, uh, 65 to 68 degree or 60 percent. Another method is drop test. This is the drop test. So you have to put the whatever um, uh, mixture is there. You have to put the drop. And when drop uh, without disintegration, it remains as such without disintegration. That indicates the end point of the jelly. Even another test is sheet and flip test. Another method is that means two, three. This test to, to, to be followed uh, for judging of the judging of the end point. And this you can hear, you can just form the jam, jam, or jelly. Just to prepare them, to open that. And this is after judging of the point, you just uh, uh, put in the vessel or put in the um, bottles. And after water, after cooling, after cooling, you just cut it. You will get the just whatever shape you want. You can make it. The perfect jelly we can prepare from the uh, wood apple. This is the jelly we can store up to six months. And the problems in jelly, jam and jelly, so many problems are there. And these are the some problems, the formation of the crystals. And this is mainly due to three problems are the formation of crystals may be there, excess sugar, then use of undissolved un sugar and the mixture cooking too slowly for or too long, long period. Means at low, it should not be cooked for at low flame. These are the remedies. And the whipping jelly or synthesis of the jelly, excess in acid, are strong uh, storage at the right temperature at uh, high uh, room temperature. This synergies may be there of whipping jelly. Maintain the proper acidity and the cool store and uh, store in cool and dry places. It should be jelly should uh, too steep or too tough. Jelly is the overcooking or cooking beyond the end point. Too much pectin in there, that means jelly becomes steep. Even soft jelly, overcooking of the juice, incorrect proportion of sugar, insufficient acid, and making too large batch at the one time. These are the some problems of the jelly, and we can rectify these problems. Cloudy jelly, cloudy use of immature, if the fruits are immature, fruits are used, imperfect strength, uh, decantation is there, or may say, if properly not done, decantation is not done, you will get the cloudy jelly. 
I mean jelly it, it will not become a transparent pouring of jelly slowly in the bottles you, you have to then air pockets in the jelly pour, sometimes faulty pouring of the jelly in the bottles that sometimes that will get air may be incorporate and that air pockets are seen in the pocket and that affect, that can, can spoil the products or you can there may be the more growth of the mold in perfect sealing and you have to follow the proper hygiene means for the jelly storage you have to prop proper storage temperature and proper, proper condition should be there you know another product is the goha so many products we can prepare from the goha goha jelly these are the steps even the, these are the selection of the fruit then these are the whatever steps we follow same steps are there after you have to make the pieces you have to add the sugar in one to proportion just heat it make the pieces soft and during you have to press the pieces extract the juice you will, you will get separate and you have to make the taste of the juice of the pectin contained and addition of sugar in generally we can add the sugar in the one as to one one as to one one kg of no, extract one kg of sugar and two gram of citric acid added in case of guava and you will get the perfect set of the jelly and almost remaining points are the same this is the perfect set of the jelly from the guava and wood apple even the guava juice is also prepared even guava beverage, this is the RTS prepared from the guava. Then guava spice is prepared. Then the dehydrated guava slices are even the green. Our university has recently our university has released one variety. That is a, that variety is rich in uh, lycopene. It is a red color variety is there in inner flesh is a red color, and that's why it is a, a lycopene content is more. That's why it has a, it, it has got the anti-cancer properties. That's why good medicine value of our variety. And we can dry this variety. Even the dryers are dry, flex are there. Even the dehydration of uh, see the white one. Even another to prove uh, vegetable is the tomato. So many products we can prepare from the tomato. These are the steps following the preparation of tomato juice in the tomato ketchup and sauce. Almost steps are same. Only difference is that in case of sauce, uh, the TSC is lay or sugar contain is 60 gram only and 73 gram in case of ketchup. Means sauce is thinner and ketchup is thick. And most of the uh, say, Ingredients used in the ketchup are more than the sauce. And the tastes of this are the in case of these are the judging the endpoints of the ketchup. The TSH should be a sauce should be 25 to 20 degree bricks and ketchup 20 to 30 degree bricks should be there. These are the steps and how we can these are the some photographs for the preparation of the tomato ketchup. Ripe tomatoes are selected. Those who are red, fully ripe tomatoes are selected. Then after these are the ingredients used for that. Then after we, um, selection of the food, you have to just blanch the fruits in the, or blanch the fruits in the water, boiling water for um, uh, eight to ten minutes. After boiling, you have to remove the skin. After removing, you just put the fruits in the cold water. You have to remove the skin. You have to uh, whatever you are getting, put in the mixer and you make the homogenized pulp and pass through the one mm sieve and you will get the squeezed homogenized juice. In that juice, you have to add the uh, spices and masala bag. What do you call it? The masala bag. Uh, separate bag of onion and onion, garlic and ginger, they should be in separate bag and another masala or whatever spices are there, spices should be ground in uh, mostly in their powder form and there another bag is prepared and put in the bag and, and start the heating. And when you use the end point, means you have to judge the end point that is called as a blotting paper test or even called as a TSS, TSS should be for case, uh, J, sauce, TSS is the 22, 28 to 20, uh, 25 to 28 in case of sauce and you get 28 to 30 degree bricks in case of ketchup when they attain the TSS you have to use the uh, stop the heating and after you have to just uh, fill the bottles after filling you have to uh, close the bottles with the help of uh, front corking machine pasteurize it and store it for at least we can store for the six months these are the tomato paste and puree we can prepare from the tomato this is these are the steps followed in the preparation of tomato paste or puree. This is the tomato, different varieties I tried for my PED work. This is my PED work. This this is the tomato puree having the taste about 14 degree bricks. TSH is maintained. Means we have to concentrate this uh, tomato juice up to 14 degree bricks. And we have to fill in the bottle. This puree or paste is used for the further products. Even tomato soup is also prepared. We can pro from this, these are the steps following in the preparation of tomato. Uh, so another produce the uh, watermelon these are the extraction of the juice and it is used for the making the rts or you can make syrup pre prepare from the watermelon and they want uh, musk melon we can prepare this uh, only steps are only different preparation of the fruit is different almost steps are same ingredients are the same 
they may say we can prepare from the musk melon even we can prepare a good preserve from the carrots these are the steps followed in the preparation of carrot carrot preserve and we can preserve the we can process the red pumpkin what you call as a dangar bhopla we can make a small pieces and we can just add the different chemicals are used for exchanging this a minimal process uh, red pumpkin these are the steps uh, different chemicals this is my, my msc phd msc students she has worked uh, in the red pumpkin untreated control xanthin gum chitosan among all these chitosan and xanthin gum uh, gives the better result for that we can extend up to 12 days we can extend the storage life of the uh, minimal process red pumpkins at uh, cold storage these are the steps at the eighth day and twelfth day means we can increase the shelf of the shelf life of red pumpkin up to twelfth days. We can prepare a good quality candy from the red pumpkin when we can prepare it. Almost steps are same. Only preparation is this is the red pumpkin candy, this this can this is the watermelon candy, this is noble pole candy, and the supporter candy. So many candy basic principles are the same, but only some say steps are different. Even uh, my MSA students student has also prepared um, uh, self uh, prepared the uh, minimal uh, minimally processed leafy vegetables so five vegetables tried and they are stored for eight eight so some of our vegetables are stored up to four to eight days we can store the minimal processed vegetables these are the some steps um, for the preparation of the drying of vegetables cauliflower cabbage green peas onion and garlic these are the some pre-treatments are given and even this temperature is also uh, 50 to 55 degrees Celsius for 12 to 15 hours or 18 hours. The drying temperature is almost same for the, all the vegetables. There is only scope for the drying of vegetables is important. These are the steak, these are the vegetables dried, bitter gourd, brinjal, carrot. These are the some these are the some products of uh, vegetable leafy vegetables and uh, dried dried in, uh, dried in my laboratory. Palak powder, powder, dried okra, dried cluster bean. They want curry leaf powder, onion flakes, and palak leaf powder is also there. Means is repeated. Then our university has released two varieties suitable for the processing of onion. The fully sapet and fully sumana, these are the varieties mostly suitable for the onion. Our whatever varieties you are getting in the market, that is a red color varieties are not suitable for the processing because they are deficient in TSS. And these varieties more in higher TSS is required for the processing. And red color varieties are not rich in TSS. Means the TSS is less than four or five. In this below that sometimes, but this variety is suitable for processing, having the TSS more than 18 degree bricks. And that variety is suitable for the processing. But even this variety does not attain the TSS up to uh, 12 degree bricks. And some equipments are small scale processing. I am talking about the small scale processing unit. And these some equipments and machineries are used for the processing unit. Hand operated pomegranate aril extractor. This is the mechanical operation. Pomegranate aril. Our university has developed this. This is the um, equipment developed by our university for the extraction of the pomegranate oil. Even hand refractometer is there, then polythene bag sealer is there, vacuum packing machine, online picking machine is there, then baby pulpers, screw type pulper, home dryers are there, basket press, online picker and hydraulic press is there. Even the crown capping machine, this is a foot operated, this is a hand operated, these are the crown caps, then bottle sealer, what you call a sealing machine, carbonation machine and can exhaust. The can exhaust not we are not using. And these are some small equipments used or some knives are used for the processing. This is the pineapple uh, uh, eye remover, then peeling knife, the can opener, can uh, core remover, cutting knife, pitting knife, even the seed remover. Some different uh, small equipments are used for the used in the processing unit. Um, these are the some um, thermometer, gel meter, brick thermometer, and so on. These are the some equipments used, used, used in the processing to measure the temperature or measure the salinity or measure the how we can add the uh, sugar pectin content some after uh, <clears throat> making the products or the byproducts of the processing in it whatever waste is generated at that waste is used for the um, different products even uh, in case of processing in it we, citrus peel is extracted that we use for the extraction of oil and pectin and candy can prepare from the citrus mango kernel we can fat or even can use powder and starch is used it is used in use for the adulteration or um, adding with the um, uh, powder um, uh, kettles and buffaloes. Mango peel is the vinegar and pectin is extracted. Pineapple fiber is extracted. Grapes from natural color is extracted. Banana peel is fiber and paper or even cloths are also prepared from the banana peel. Banana peel and the pseudo stem, pomegranate seeds, supari, chewed or so. These are the products, byproducts can be prepared from the uh, 
processing waste. Even these are some regulating, uh, food regulating bodies are there. Agmar, then APO, BIS, ISO, Codex, Eurogap, has up. these are some organization involved in the quality control of the products. And this is the uh, requirement for the license of the, if you want to get the license, and these, the, these are some uh, documents required for the license, getting the license, and nowadays you are getting the license online also. And these are the some uh, categorization of the processing unit, home scale, cottage scale, small scale, small scale B and large scale. These are our units are mostly run in the small, uh, small scale A and home scale units are there. No large scale units are running in India, almost. Uh, <clears throat> these are the, depending upon their production capacity and their, they, these are the some uh, manufacturing area and the uh, production capacity is given. And you have to get the license from uh, license from the FSI for getting the starting processing unit. In this way, we try to get try to uh, explain the process products from the low cost processing technology of fruits and vegetables. Uh, Irana sir, hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, uh, there is one question in chat box. Uh, sir, some industries mm -hmm. prepare Amla candy using honey. In that case, will the concentration yes, of bricks will be same or what will be the process for it? Uh, for, yes, um, for uh, when we are using the uh, sugar based product or sugar or what you call it as a honey, you have to maintain the bricks up to uh, more than 65 percent. When sugar acts as a preservative, we have to maintain the bricks up more than 65 percent. Otherwise, when uh, TS is less than 65, 65 degree bricks, that there may be the chances of the spoilage of the candy during the storage. But you, you can use the honey or you can, you can use the jaggery or you can use the sugar. You have to maintain the bricks up to 65 percent, more than that, not below than that. Almost you have to maintain the bricks up, up to that much. Okay, sir. Hello, uh, who, who has asked question? this question? Are you satisfied? I are you satisfied with this uh, answer? Who has asked this question? Anybody is talking about regarding Sachin, that? Sachin Muske has asked Sachin. this question, sir. Sachin. Oh, sorry. Sachin. But okay, sir. Eight minutes. Sachin Muske sir which option is low cost storage for very small scale level of farmers for fresh fruits and vegetables rather than fresh cold fruits. storage yes yes we can use the uh, zero energy cold chamber zero energy cold chamber means shunya urje var adharit shit kaksha no energy no light energy used for that lowering the temperature of that fresh fruits that zero energy cold chamber is there and that chamber has been developed by uh, dr sk roy in the year 1984 at IR and New Delhi. And that chamber can be constructed at farm level and we can lower down the temperature up to in the uh, summer, peak summer season, with the temper outside temperature is about 30, 40 degrees Celsius. More than 40 degrees Celsius, but uh, in cool chamber, the temperature difference is uh, 17 to 18 degree uh, Celsius temperature difference is there. We can lower the temperature, we can store the fresh fruits or we can store the milk also. Sometimes milk will get spoiled. In that zoological chamber, we can store the milk also. Zoological chamber is the uh, option for that. Those uh, who cannot use the cold storage, they can use the uh, temporary storage of these uh, fresh fruits. Or even some other methods are there. How is the clamp storage is there? Even some, uh, but uh, depending upon the commodity, the storage uh, type, you have to use it. You cannot use the uh, strawberry or you can use the clump storage or your other storage methods are not used for the uh, those commodities which are highly perishable commodities or perishable fruits. The, depending upon the fruit, you have to use the type of the fruit and type of the storage. You have to think about it. Ajahn Kunala. Thank you, sir. Any other, any other question from participants? Sir, good afternoon, sir. This is Dr. Lenin from Andhra Pradesh. Oh, yes, go ahead, go ahead, sir. Mm. Uh, sir, what are the uh, entrepreneurship opportunities and support given by the government, sir? Uh, government has given. Oh, oh, oh food. yes, yes. Oh, food processing industry so about uh, 30, more than 35 to 50 percent subsidies given by given. Uh, so, so many schemes are there. 
that is the one pradhan mantri scheme pradhan mantri even startup india skill india in in that you will get the uh, so many schemes are there but i am not uh, touch with that area but the uh, government uh, is giving subsidies yes, for that uh, and your uh, for the uh, your okay. to, um, uh, maharashtra small scale industry in your state andhra state you will get the some uh, government agencies are there then what to call that is um, uh, okay okay sir in that in that you will get the subsidies even some banks are there they are giving uh, some low cost low interest loans are for the person in it thank you so much sir okay okay thank you another question is good afternoon oh. sir good afternoon sir that is sachin must from shivat uh sir uh, i can yes fresh yes. leafy vegetables is applicable uh, applicable for fresh leafy vegetable which one जुरोजिकल चंबर हाँ यस यस जीरो जड़ी सी सी हाँ जीरो जड़ी सी सी इज आल्सो यूजफुल फॉर दैट वी कैन लिपी विचेबल कैन स्टोरेज एंड फॉर द स्टोरेज ऑफ लिपी विचेबल्स आर फॉर द एनी कमोडिटी फोर हंड्रेड किलो फोर फोर हंड्रेड किलो हाँ फोर हंड्रेड किलो विजिटेबल्स वी कैन स्टोर इट इन दिल्ज नंबर दैट हैविंग दायमेंशन यू टू स्पेसिफिक अबाउट द डायमेंशन otherwise when it is too large or too small the purpose will not be served yes definitely it can be used for the lipid vegetable also even we can store the milk means we can store the lipid vegetable also okay thank you yes. sir thank you thank you so much sir yeah. yeah. so another question is how to remove the initial astringency of cashew apple before processing yes yes my important question uh, when we prepare the candy cashew it is a astringent taste is there when the cashew ripe cashew is used as apple is used you just blanch the fruits in the uh, 2.5% uh, nacl means salt solution blanch the fruits for 8 to 10 minutes almost we can 90% we can remove the astringency by by this method only no other methods are there But uh, for the astringent taste, it should be a slight should be there. Otherwise, when completely removed, we can we cannot feel it if we we are eating the cashew apple. It should be there. Some slight astringent should be there. We can feel it if we are eating the cashew. But we can remove the astringent taste by with the help of this blanching method. Hello. Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Are you are you satisfied? Yes, sir. Blending yes, sir. Blending of, yeah, those those uh, uh, blending of juices, lot of work has been done. Hmm. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes, yeah, mix, 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 mix. Blending of juice means mix juices. We can prepare. Yes, definitely we can prepare. Sir, another, another question is from uh, Sheetal Patil. What is the actual Sheetal difference Patil. between degree bricks and TSS? Degree bricks, uh, degree bricks and TSS. I mean, the actual kasa paraga so hard degree bricks are in some. Uh, main difference is the when we are using the bricks hydrometer. We are using the bricks hydrometer. Have you used the bricks hydrometer? Have you seen the bricks hydrometer? Hmm. Bricks hydrometer, how much will it be? Okay, this is the bricks hydrometer. Bricks, this is the bricks hydrometer. These two are the bricks hydrometer. And when we are using this, um, uh, measuring the TSS in terms of degree bricks, that is a bricks hydrometer that you will, you will use as a bricks. And so when we are using the refractometer, we are measuring the TSS by using the uh, refractometer, and we have to um, make the correction. And all the correct, all the uh, readings should be taken at 20 degrees Celsius. When that more than that, you have to use the correction factor. Is there you have add the correction factor when we are using the um, refractometer? This is the difference: brick cytometer and the refractometer. Or you are you can measure the TSS in terms of percentage also. Kuna Rajun, which are you? Can you answer? Satisfied? Kuni person, which are you? Shital Patil, sir. Shital Patil. Shital Patil. Ha, can you answer? Yes, sir. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Brick centimeter. Why? Because the average number of the brick centimeter is not known. It is, it is, it is gone in history. <laughs> brick centimeter. Hmm. At the fact that they are almost they are using the refractometer, digital hand refractometer, or pocket hand refractometer. Okay. The Tessa Opera took the generally the correction curtain of the majority students that they are not following the correction factor, they are not adding the correction factor upon Kai Kurtu, the repertory meters are reading Yeton diet Lunda Kutasanaite. This is the Ranganaji process of Opera. When we are measuring the TSS, we have to follow the process, procedure for that. Yes, given by the Yes Rangana, how to measure the TSS. And that all the correction tables are given in, in his book. Hmm? Yes. And Kikunala? Any other questions? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No other questions. Uh, everyone has got uh, sufficient uh, information and has got answer, proper answers too. And we are seeing that the, you are handling the mobile with uh, hand. No? So we are also <laughs> feeling uh, that means uh, last uh, two hours you were holding that one and uh, and your knowledge is always... Uh, that means yes, so when it was it, uh, some dogs getting the panic, it is not started in time. That's why some more panic is there. So, uh, but I try to uh, deliver my at my level best, nice. and sir, it will uh, be proper in the physical mode. Uh -huh. From Vijay Singh, above salinometer uh. name is salinometer. Salinometer it is used for salinometer is used for measuring the brine solution, strength of salt solution, and it is mostly used used right at the time of canning of the vegetables. Salinometer to measure the concentration of salt solution. And we are, it is used at the time of canning, canning of vegetables. We are using the canning, canning of vegetables and canning of fruits. Is the difference is the can, in case of canning of fruits, we are using the syrup. In case of canning of vegetables, we are using the brine solution. And at that time, we have to use the salinometer to measure the strength of that solution. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, meter, bricks one meter, more. and gel meter. Any more question? Uh, one more is saying the tell about the gel meter in that one. Gel meter. Uh, gel meter. Je maga je bagi thala gel meter je dhangi la kasa darad kasa. How we can use the gel meter? Gel meter used to measure of measure the pectin strength of the extract, and it is just this is the gel meter. 
you have to hold like this you have to put the small finger at the uh, uh, lower portion and put in a left hand and pour, pour the uh, mixture in this uh, extract in this uh, meter and just uh, remove the lower finger and allow to run for one minute and after one minute where you are getting the level that level indicates the amount of sugar to be added when sugar when the level reaches to this one when it reaches to here means we have to add the sugar 1 as to 1.250 grams means 1 kilo plus 1 kilo sugar taka ji itta jari jari the 1 kilo 1 kilo itta jari the 1 kilo pound kilo and 1 kilo arda kilo this level gives the amount of sugar to be added this is the gel meter आता हे सगळं हिस्ट्रीमध्ये झाले बऱ्याच जणांकडे असत नाही जेल मीटर पण बॉम्बे ला एक क्रॉफर मार्केट आहे त्या मार्केटमध्ये देखील मिळतो हा जेल मीटर जर तुम्ही पाहिजे असेल ते तुम्ही घेऊ शकता ते फार साधे इन्स्ट्रुमेंट आहे इट वर्क्स ऑन द स्पेसिफिक ग्रॅव्हिटी स्पेसिफिक ग्रॅव्हिटी वेळेचं काम चालतं ही दी डिनोट द अमाऊंट व्हॉट इज दिस विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ दॅट लिक्विड व्हेन इट कंटेन द मोर पेक्टेन मीन्स इट इज लो मोर टाइम इज रिक्वायर्ड टू रन दॅट and it means more pectin it is slowly run out and you add the sugar more sugar you have to add it that is the pectin and you have to add the uh, pectin accordingly jale barobar hai sir yes anki kunala there are no more questions sir no more questions sir sir uh, and uh, everyone is uh, everyone is saying that the it is a excellent lecture session lecture. was very great uh -huh. and excellent session but, uh, it is not just uh, just you can see the near okay. near about 200 slides are there and uh, 200 not, slides not all slides. slides it is your third fourth year's experience in just one two hours so, it is very difficult to share this at that time about 90% slides uh, almost all slides i have prepared and all these photographs of these slides it is in my laboratory all this work has yes, been done uh, very few slides have come from the uh, internet ah uh, sir so many slides are available in the internet also but i i have not not used them but i cannot explain as per my knowledge as per my for my explanation i have prepared this slide and try to prepare not try at the best i don't know it is uh, how it was and no, this was excellent but instead of like we actually you have prepared and that for uh, photoshop and all the, all that photographs are there no so that is more important uh -huh. right now we uh -huh. can get it from very uh, very good yes. but it is uh, uh, so actually you have done practically and those uh, slides that, are there. so these are mm -hmm. more excellent than anything else mm -hmm. thank you sir thank you and today everything will be there but actually okay. you have worked that one and that uh, that uh, snaps are here so that is most important mm -hmm. Yeah, actually practical experience that's why i can i can go the any type of question, questions regarding that i will i will try i will try this is the so hmm? uh, sir another question is that yeah. in case uh -huh. of bricks and tss temperature mm -hmm. of sample is most important factor that's yes, why that's why that's why it is factor and uh, that's why they, you have to make all the corrections all the readings you have to take at 20 degrees celsius okay sir you have to you, you have to follow the procedure of rangana yes rangana proper procedure we are at the in laboratory sometimes we are not following the proper procedure but some uh, in case of liquid products or in case of other products but what about those products which are solid it is very difficult how we can measure the taste of chocolates how we can measure the taste of chocolate we cannot squeeze the chocolate on the refractometer Yes, at that time you have to follow the procedure of Rangana. The, he has given the proper procedure for the estimation of the TSS and how we can correct the uh, factor. Temperature is important. That's why I have told the temperature is at twenty degrees Celsius. Ajun Kunal, can you answer this? Hmm. Jale Kuni Pranu, which are the things that are satisfied, that are the natural. Then Malay, they can say that they are the things that 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 are the तुम्हें <laughs> 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 तो ते 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 
आणि तुम्ही त्याचं टी एच सण हे जर मोजत असाल तर त्याला टेम्परेचर जे इम्पॉर्टंट असतं हाय टेम्परेचर हाय टेम्परेचरला घेतलं तर तुम्ही जर टेम्परेचर जे तुम्हाला टी एच जास्तच दाखवणार आहे ब्रिक्स हायड्रोमीटर जनरली वी यूज इन वायनरीज बिकॉजेशन इफ इट हॅपन्सन्ट्रेशन शुगर इन्क्रीज सो वील गेट्स रिझल्ट सो दॅट वी हॅव टू यूज येस ब्रेक साइडोमीटर वी आर युजिंग बट वी आर नॉट युजिंग दी इन इन फ्रूट फ्रूट प्रोसेसिंग आवर युनिट मीन्स फ्रूट अँड व्हिजल प्रोसेसिंग वी आर युजिंग दी रिफ्रॅक्टोमीटर दॅट्स वाय आय टोल्ड द ब्रेक साइडोमीटर इज ऑलमोस्ट गॉन इट इज गॉन इन हिस्ट्री आय थिंक इन प्रोसेसिंग इन दॅट इज फ्रूट अँड व्हिजल प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री आमच्या युनिटमध्ये कोण शक्यतो वापरत नाही त्याच्यामध्ये ब्रेक साइडोमीटर फक्त विद्यार्थ्यांना दाखवण्यासाठी लागतो आम्ही दाखवण्यासाठी म्हणायचं ब्रेक साइडोमीटर अजूनला काय नसेल तर नंबर माझा शेअर करा कोणाला वाटलं तर अजून ह्याच्यावर मेल ला मेल देखील आहे माझा मेल शेअर करा त्यांना देखील करता येऊ शकतं आणि आय एम व्हेरी मच थँकफुल फॉर शाहू सर इराणा सर लोखंडे सर अँड ऑल द टीम फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सायन्स अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट अँड व्हाय चान्स ऑल द युनिव्हर्सिटी अथॉरिटीज दे हॅव गिव्हन द अपॉर्च्युनिटी फॉर मी टू इंटरॅक्ट विथ यू अँड शेअर माय एक्सपिरियन्स regarding the low cost processing technology and i have talked regarding the given all the slides regarding the low cost where we can do the small scale processing at home not on the large scale processing large scale processing some equipments are some machines are different i have not used any sophisticated hi fi machine are not used for that you just require the practical experience for that thank you for all the who has given the opportunity for me and listeners or participants they have asked the very uh, good questions and given the i have try to give the all the uh, doubts clear the uh, regarding that thank you very much for sir all the students hmm. thank you thank you very yes, much sir, sir. Uh, thank, you, local, thank you sir 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 shau sir over hai ka na hai 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 thank you very much for sparing sir your valuable time and guidance thank you once again thank you sir you have given me an opportunity to discuss to interact with you on virtually we try to see you in sir, physically also our fortunate sir ki uh, since uh, inception of department you are guiding us and uh, lot of uh, guidance and this is my department from this is my second this is my second Uh, this is you know, my university is the first baby and you you were university second baby me mala tumche university badal far ahi vatto karan me tumche suruvati pasun tithe mala far sarda banavto kolhapur sar ani kolhapur ji shivaji university cha karan me pehla pasun tithe kela tumhi mala pratyek thikani non kon ghetla ghetla gel tya badal me saranch abari ahe okay sir chalte sir thank you uh, thank you very much okay okay bye bye, bye. thank you thank you bye have a good sir Shall we let? Karishma, you want to just... Oh, okay, sir. No, Karishma is there, sir. Just a minute. Huh. Yes, sir. Huh. Left to Karuga? No, one second, sir. Karishma will actually form, uh, form and say the vote of thanks to him. Vote to Karishma. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. The section was very helpful and it will help in future also uh, for many who actually wants to do the business or small scale business and the many small small concepts you have cleared. Actually, we also didn't know these things, but today you have cleared all the doubts and in future also you will help us. We hope that definitely, from you. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I will, I will help. Definitely try to help. Thank yes, thank you so much for your valuable thank time you, that thank you have you, spent thank with you, us. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all, all my friends. Thank okay, you. thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, see you, sir. Yeah. See you, see you. Good day, good day. Yes, sir.